hi everyone and welcome back to our channel today i'm just going to do a quick pack with me video i'm getting ready to go home tomorrow actually i never packed this last minute but i wanted to film it because it's different for everybody and i love watching these kind of videos because i like to just learn new techniques and see what's new out there in terms of um storage because i don't pack my things directly into my suitcase i always use packing cubes and if you don't know what packing cubes are i'll get more into that in a minute but yeah i love these kind of videos so i decided to just film one today and show you guys how i fit six days worth of clothes for myself and six days for kelsey into one carry-on bag and it is possible trust me as you will see here in a minute but i'm coming to you live from my floor because um I'm not gonna sit on the couch and do this but yeah I hope you like the video if you like it please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and support the channel I really do appreciate it and without further ado let's just get right into it so, this is my carry-on um has a zipper compartment here and here and it is expandable and the inside looks like this eh, it's pretty big so anyway I'm just gonna sit it right here so we can pack it as we go these are my packing cubes I got them from Amazon two years ago and they've held up very well they're by the brand called shackle pack and I believe I paid 25 or 28 dollars for this set now they do go on sale I will see if they have a link to the direct ones that I bought and I'll put them down below but they do go on sale so if you see them on sale well if you see them on Amazon full price come back in like a week and a half if you're not in a rush and they will be on sale um, I should have bought them on sale but I didn't but anyway um, they come in a five piece set these are the two smallest ones and these are the two this is horrible this is the medium size and this is the largest size and I usually take the large and the medium and sometimes I'll put like socks and my bras in the extra small one but um, I've used them every time I traveled the last two years and they've held up very well and the point of packing cubes is to save you space in your bag and to also organize your bag so if you are packing for multiple people like I am you don't have to dig through the bag and find what you're looking for you can just take out that person's specific cube and everything that they need is already in the bag um, so first thing that I'm packing for her is like this little sweat not a sweatsuit like a cold weather overlay some people wear it as an outfit I don't put her I don't put her in this as an outfit this is kind of like over her outfit is like a coat because she's too big for those fuzzy ones with the feet because she's just now walking and there's no grips on the bottom so I feel like this kind of is a little bit better and it's not as thick um if I was going to the northeast I probably would invest in her like a snowsuit but we're going to the south and it's cold but not that cold but this is what she'll have for the days that it's super cold because everybody keeps telling me it's like freezing in memphis right now in atlanta and those states and i don't believe it but we'll see um so i'm packing this for her and she also had a coat but um, of course she'll be wearing the coat when we get there so that um packing her two sleepers and then she'll be wearing a sleeper onto the plane because it's just easier that way so she'll have a total of three pairs of pajamas um my mom has a washer and dryer so i'll wash the stuff when we get there um this little play outfit it's from carter's this will be for whatever day i don't feel like really dressing her up this little outfit from carter's another little set with the tutu it's between this outfit and this outfit that my best friend bought for her shout out to bria if you're watching um to wear to the party that we're going to we're going to my cousin's graduation party congratulations sierra i'm graduating from college um so i don't know which one she's gonna wear just yet both of them are kind of dressy kind of casual and the party is casual but i mean she has to look cute you know so this is how the outfits look um, i don't know which one she's gonna wear just yet but i am packing these pink little shoes to go with the pink outfit if she wears them and she has a black pair just like this um patent leather to go with the other outfit if she wears that one and the last outfit for Kelsey is just this little Minnie Mouse hoodie 
set that my mom picked up for her. Carmen has the matching one, but Carmen's is black instead of red. And they were supposed to match, but Carmen's actually not coming this time because she's in school and she can't miss school because I'll be gone. Um, most of the Carter's outfits are kind of thin, so they need like something under them to keep, you know, their legs warm. And also, of course, her headbands. My, my baby needs headbands because, you know, she don't have that much hair yet, so she got to rock the headband. But these are Kelsey's clothes, and I'm going to go ahead and take them off the hanger and pack them into her packing cube and show you guys how that looks. things packed into the medium size shackle pack packing cube um I could have rolled her clothes but I don't really roll her clothes because they're so small that it defeats the purpose if I, if, if I wanted to pack um let's say two weeks worth of clothes in here then I would roll them but it's only going to be six days or really like five days but um yeah if I wanted to fit more clothes I could roll them but again they are so tiny that it kind of defeats the purpose because they don't take up that much space anyway so all of her clothes fit into this bag and if you're wondering I'm not packing diapers and wipes and milk because I'll just buy that when I get there she'll have enough diapers wipes and milk in her diaper bag so that definitely saves space in the suitcase now on to my items I will be packing my things into oh into this large packing cube and uh, I guess I'll show you guys what I'm packing like I showed you what I'm bringing for Kelsey um so I have my pajamas I have Batman pajamas these are fleece pajamas really comfy and cozy my mom bought these for me for Christmas um, I think the year before last she always buy pajamas I don't know which year she got these but um I have a pair of black leggings I mean every girl probably travels with black leggings because you need black leggings and I'm going to wear my black leggings with this cute little lavender ribbed kind of cropped sweater that I got from Forever 21. Um, I'm also bringing camisoles, camisoles, t-shirts like undershirt tank tops, um, a few of these in black. I prefer them in black just because they don't show through. So I am bringing this really fun shirt that I got from Forever 21. It is a Nickelodeon shirt. I am a 90s baby. These were like my friends growing up. I loved Nickelodeon. I love Disney too. I'm a Disney girl. I'm a Pooh Bear fanatic but I did really love Rugrats. So when I saw this shirt I was like I have to have that like it's fun it's lame it's cute it's all that into one but yeah i'm bringing this shirt just as like a casual shirt for when we're on the road um and funny thing about it is when i tried the shirt on Carmen was like the baby because she's been watching rugrats like crazy now and she calls all of them babies even though we all know angelica thought she was the grown-up but yeah i love this shirt and I actually bought it in a size large if you guys saw because I think that these shirts these novelty type shirts are really cute when they are oversized um, I also will be bringing this cropped hoodie from Forever 21 I am NOT a big fan of Forever 21 it may seem like it but I only buy like really how can I put this really kind of eclectic one-of-a-kind yet cheap things from Forever 21 like they have the best like really cute one-time outfit things but also really cute like these things and right now I keep seeing these 90 themed items going around and I was born in the 90s so I got this cropped hoodie and it says made in the 90s and it's really cute kind of thick kind of thin um, but it was I think only like 16 or 17 dollars oh, it was 15.90 and I got it in a large as well I just have a black shirt to go underneath it 
because let's be for real i'm not wearing no crop hoodie with my stomach out and this coat i'm not not about that life and i plan to wear it with these camo high-waisted legging jeans jeggings i don't know what you call them but they look so cute on me and my mom actually bought them so shout out to you mommy because these look so good on me and i am bringing two of these sweaters um they're kind of oversized kind of fitted doesn't really make sense but this is an express sweater i love express um and yeah i'm bringing two of these sweaters this one is heathered gray and i'm also bringing this christmasy green one and i'm just bringing one pair of jeans um these are from new york and company they are their soho curve creator jeans i love their jeans well i love that jean i'll be wearing my tall three button uggs in the airport so i don't take up space in my suitcase but for the dressier outfits i'm bringing this boot it's a little cute ankle booty i just got it from macy's about four days ago and i actually do not have any ankle boots this is my first ankle boots i'm excited about them they're really cute i got them on sale for a really good price they originally seventy dollars and I only paid $35. Macy's having like a super one day sale with an extra 20% off. And I ordered them online. Really nervous about it. But they ended up fitting very well and they're comfortable. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how I packed my clothes into the bag. And uh, yeah, I will be doing the roll method for my clothes because they are bigger and a little bit bulkier. So hopefully you guys pick up on the roll method. If you've never tried it, please try it on your next trip. It does save a lot of space. everything is all packed away into my carry-on bag um there's still a lot of space inside it's like a lot of space there's space if i need to stuff a few last minute items on either side um and i also will be putting my toiletries right here in the front pocket um i just pack very well i i pack the essentials you know toothpaste toothbrush those type of things and a few hair products and that literally all fits into my carry-on bag. Um, I really encourage you all to look into packing cubes. You don't have to necessarily buy the brand Shackle Pack that I have, but there are a ton of great colors and variety and prints on Amazon. And this is not sponsored, by the way. I just really do like packing cubes. If you type them in on YouTube, you can see a lot of other YouTubers who use packing cubes and how they help to organize a bag. And they also help with... Um, laundry if you're going somewhere that you cannot do your laundry it's also great to have those because you don't have to put clean clothes with dirty clothes and you also will be able to better track what you have and have not worn so again look into packing cubes if you've never tried them they work phenomenally as you saw you could either roll your clothes or fold them regularly and they still save you a ton of space in your bag your bag is organized and you know where everything is when you get to your location Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks. Bye-bye.